Hello everyone, Vanguard of Valor here, and welcome aboard the VSS Polaroid, our NG Cruiser Type A. Now, we're already looking pretty good here, we're gonna look even better in a second once we upgrade our shields to level 3, like so, not so bad. Now we got some pretty decent defenses. Let's keep moving along, and see if we can't make some progress here. We found some good stuff so far, we wanna see if we can't keep that streak going, and find more good stuff along the way. Alright, first jump, we notice an NG colony hiding on the other side of a nearby moon. It turns out they are also excavating equipment cache from the Federation Mantis War, suggesting it might be used to lure the pursuing rebels. We could slow down the rebels with it, we could also steal it and see what's inside. We have the NG complete their excavations and bring the supplies on board, finding 43 scrap and an anti-personnel drone. Not bad. Alright, got a distress beacon over here, got a store over there, let's see what we can get over this way. Is there anything good? The distress signal originates at a small NG ship under attack by a rebel fighter, but when they see Federation markings, they turn to face us instead. Alright there, guys, you've got missiles, you've got some burst lasers, you've also just teleported on board into our weapons bay as it happens, that is unfortunate. Get in there and fight them, guys. If we turn on the med bay, we should be able to face them. So let's do that, turn on the med bay, we're going to be using our cloak to hopefully dodge most of their attacks. We are going to be firing down their shields with our Ion Blast as usual. Oh, excuse me. As usual. And we'll be using our Ion Blast Mark II, our fancy new upgrade, to hopefully do some good damage. We're going to cloak out, though, before that rocket hits us. Good. Now, we're going to turn on a Beam Drone for additional damage. No, we can't do that yet. We can't hit them in the weapons, though. There we go. The Burst Laser is now offline, but we missed a whole bunch of those, and now their shields are back up to full. Well done, gentlemen, well done. Okay, we're gonna send these guys temporarily out of the fight. Apparently they really want to get into our cloakroom. That's strange. We're going to turn off the burst laser temporarily so we don't waste it against level 2 shields, and we took a hit in the shields as well. That is unfortunate. Get in there and defend those cloaking devices. And we're gonna hit them in the weapons again. And they're gonna hit us in a second, so we're gonna cloak. Nice try! Can't hit us now. We're actually gonna send uh, lens in there to help fix the shields. These guys should be able to win that fight, actually, surprisingly enough. Maybe not. I'm not convinced there that they're actually going to pull that off. We're going to turn off the burst laser, and we're going to run our NG for cover again. Whew! Taking a beating there, guys. We are also going to try and suffocate out these guys. That's fun. And are you the correct person? Yes, you are. Focus is on the right station. We're going to blast out those rockets before they hit us again with them. Yes, down they go. Our cloaking device is likely going to be destroyed, but these guys are also going to start suffocating. There we go. Now, we're going to burst laser them in the weapons again because they have them back online, and we're going to activate our beam drone since our cloak is now empty. And their weapons are offline. Very nice. Down they go. So let's heal up here, and then we'll be able to get back in there and fix the cloak. Bam, bam, bam. And they are destroyed. Very neatly done. The rebels destroyed, we pick the bones of their ship, gathering a fuel, missile, and 21 scrap, while waiting for the NG ship to catch up. The NG vessel, however, turns out to be very poorly equipped, barely a runabout. They're trying to outrun the rebels and need all the help they can get. We could give them the higher reward, but we're only going to get the NG medbot dispersal, which we already have. So we're going to give them 25 scrap instead and hope for the best. Alright, the NGs are grateful, but they don't have any supplies or weapons to spare. But they do send over to self-teleporting medbot dispersers they hope they won't need. We get the healing burst, alright, I think that's actually worth 30 scrap, so if we sell it, we'll get 5 scrap profit. Not amazing, but not bad. And we'll fix up that broken cloaking device. We have taken a bunch of damage, too. We're probably going to want to heal that up quickly. Let's see. Is there anything else we can get while we're here? We could jump over here, I guess. See if there's anything at this beacon. Is there anything at this beacon? Oh! We find a weapon just floating in space. 26 scrap and a heavy laser mark 1. I will take it, thank you. Alright, we'll jump to the store and see if there's anything there. Is there anything here? The NG ship hails, saying, Engine upgrade necessary for travel home. Sale of equipment necessary for engine upgrade. Well, that's pretty straightforward. Let's sell them some of this junk. Sell them a heavy laser, sell them a healing bomb, sell them a burst laser mark 1, sell them an anti-personnel drone. None of that's really junk, but I don't think it's stuff we're going to need. The anti-personnel drone might be good, but I don't really want to start spending drones on anti-personnel units. Ooh, boarding drones are fun, though. Um, 
Should I buy anything here? The repairs are kind of expensive. Let's take a look at the map. No. There's another store right here. Well, let's go check that out, see if they have anything better. If we could get a drone recovery arm, that'd be fantastic. A message arrives, saying, Your scrap ours, our weapons for you. We're about to raise our shields when we realize it's just an NG trader looking for a trade. He has almost the same stuff. Okay, well, that's no good. His repairs are just as expensive. Um, buy a couple of those, but only up to 150. Not spending any more than that on that. And let's buy a whole bunch of power, I think. There we go. That'll let us power our engines fully, and a drone, and everything. Keep going. That's terrible English, but you get what I mean. Focus, back in the weapons bay. See why I hang, you're gonna move over a spot there. And I think we're good to jump onwards. There's a distress beacon over here. Let's, let's see if we can go here, then the quest, then the distress beacon, and work our way back to the exit. That sounds like it's probably the best course of action. Alright, another anti-personnel drone. I guess they really want us to have one. An abandoned space station circles a lonely planet. A quick check yields schematics for a drone, which we bring aboard the ship. We get 24 scrap and another anti-personnel drone. Well, I guess we'll hold on to this one for a little bit. We'll jump over to this quest beacon and see what this has. Is there anything here? We find the Mantis encampment, but there are far too many of them to count accurately. We send a long-range message back to the settlement with our findings, but unfortunately, there's not much we can do. It would be suicide to attack directly. We'll leave before they notice us. Thankfully, they've been focused on setting up camp since we got far enough away to attempt to jump without being noticed. Alright, well, that was not the best possible outcome, but nothing bad happened, so I guess it's not a waste. Too bad we didn't have firebombs, so I think that's the ideal solution for that event. As soon as we arrive at the distress signal, shots are fired. It's a trap! Dun -dun! Ion Blast Mark II, Ion Lasers. Ooh, that's an interesting setup. They're set up to take us down. Hopefully it doesn't work, but... Might. I'm hoping for a simultaneous attack there? Nope. That's strange. Well, we're going to hopefully fry them as well, so that's okay. We can tank out their shots until we have one shield left, because their beam weapons are both only damaging one layer. They can't pierce, rather, more than any layers. <laughs> so we're just going to chill out here while they're firing at us. If they do manage to knock the shields out, we can just cloak. And we can knock out their weapons. Bam, bam, a ba Aww. You cloaked. <laughs> That gets your shields back online. Dang it. Ah, well. Apparently they didn't feel like attacking while they were cloaked, so our shields are also back online. Keep hitting them. And one more shot will do it. And we can hit them in the shields. There we go. That's more like it. Now we can do some real damage. We're going to ion out their cloaking device. We're going to burst laser out the helm. Oh, they cloaked first. Ah, well. Now back on the shields, I think. And, oh, no! Yeah, okay, one shot on the shields, and... Oh, come on, you missed! I could turn a drone on to speed this up, but there's no point, really. They can't hurt us. One shot hit the cloaking device, but that's all we needed. Next one is going to hit them in the helm. We are down to one shield layer. If they get down another layer, we're going to have to cloak out. We've blocked out their helm, so they cannot dodge anymore. Let's hit them in the weapon. That was the shortest cloak ever. Hit them in the weapons. There we go, knock out some weapons, and keep pummeling them. They're healing really fast. Let's hit them in the med bay so they can't keep using that station. They can't hurt us either, but they're, they're healing incredibly quickly. The enemy ship appears to be powering up its FTL and is trying to escape. Well, we can't have that now, can we? Let's hit them in the helm, and hopefully knock them out if we... Oh, you jerks! If we can't knock them out this way, we're going to have to activate a drone here. Do it. We missed again, really? No, they jumped away! That was the fastest jump ever. I guess because they cloaked. Well, that's lame. Ugh. Alright, you lucky pirates. You got lucky this time. We can't afford to go to that distress beacon, I don't think, because we won't be able to make it back to the exit in time. So let's work our way over this way. I hate when people get away like that. There's no excuse for it. We receive a distress call from nearby NG ship, requesting assistance because they're in imminent danger. Well, let's help them out. Let's respond to the call and move in to assist. We approach to find Mantis assaulting a small NG space station and prepare for a fight. And they're going to be coming on board very quickly, because they do have a teleporter right there. We could try and block them out with a cloak. Temporarily, at least. Let's do that right now. That way we can start ioning out their shields before they get a chance to get on board. We missed, though. 
We're trying to not miss, guys. We're trying to take advantage of our upper hand here, and if you start getting misses, it's not going to work. We're also going to activate our anti-personnel drone for once. The great thing about them is that if they don't die, we keep them. It doesn't actually cost us more drone parts. Now, they are going to teleport on board right now. Yep. And they landed right on top of an NG. That's unfortunate. Poor guy. Let's burst laser them in the weapons, I think. As soon as that shield layer goes down, it should be right now. Yep, hit them in the weapons. And we missed twice. Fantastic. But we did knock out one weapon, so it's not entirely like a loss. Get out of there, lens, before you die. Get in the med bay. Heal yourself up, please. Alright. Now, we cannot fire any more drones at them, because we're busy using our anti-personnel drone. But, we can continue to harass them with our weaponry. There we go. We reset the timer on their small bomb, whatever kind of bomb this is. I don't think it's a small bomb, but it did take quite a while to load up. They're going to destroy our anti-personnel drone in a second, which is unfortunate, but we did stall them reasonably long there. Hopefully we'll be able to force them back onto their own ship by doing this salvo of damage. No, they're not interested in going back onto their own ship yet. In that case, we're going to send our stalling NG back into that room. We're going to hit them with another salvo in the oxygen. No, in the engines, I think. That sounds like a much more appealing target to me. And our NG is going to have to run away. We're going to lose radar in a second, but hopefully this will call them home. No, they're not calling home, I don't think. <laughs> they're not interested in leaving. Alright then. If that's how it's going to be, that's how it's going to be. We're going to bring in some more some more NGs to add some support to this fight. They're going to destroy our radar, and there's nothing we can do about that, but we should be able to block them from leaving the area. Our burst laser hitting them in the engines should be the final straw. And they did get called home. Fantastic. That means they got called home to an early grave. There's no way they're getting out of there alive. Alright, Lens, you're going to hang out over here. We're going to send Flacio back to his position and see why hang over here. Actually, over there is probably the best. The Mentor's ship breaks apart. We gather three fuel, a missile, and 43 scrap, and attempt to contact the NG. The station hails us, saying, Gratitude. Expected probability of defeat without assistance, 86.2%. Request suitable reward. Well, we can request fuel, a weapon, a drone, or we can tell them that our threat is unresolved. The current mission is imperative. Protocol 52.34. Well, let's do that with our NG crew. That's what we came here for in the first place. They respond. Understood. Re-establishment of Federation highest import. Transmitting hidden base coordinates. Repairing hull and attaching ship to ship coordinates. We get 22 scrap and a fire beam, as well as a quest marker in the next sector. Alright. Thank you there, guys. I'm probably going to sell that fire beam, because it's a fire beam. It's pretty good, but we don't have the rock borders that we need to make it fantastic. And, as it stands, we're probably better off keeping our small bombs. But, who knows, we might start using it later on anyway, because fire is a great distraction and prevents people from repairing systems. Hmm, what should we do with our money, though? That's the real question here. Let's put a point into the med bay, like I was saying. We'll buy another power bar, and that'll be us pretty much set for now. Because if we can keep that much power in there, we should heal pretty darn quickly. We have... do we have enough jumps for one more? I'd say we have enough jumps for one more. It'll be pretty close, but we should have enough space. So we'll jump over here and see what we can take advantage of in this location. An, un an unidentified ship is badly damaged and still being assaulted by a space pirate. The victim begins a distress message until the pirate cuts in and offers to split the bounty if we sit tight. Their offer is pathetic, though. Only a fuel, a drone part, and 21 scraps, so we're not listening to them. We're going to be a hero and attack the pirate. There's a good chance they'll be dead already, but we're going to help them anyway. The pirate ship stops his pursuit and locks weapons on us. They've got drones, they got hull beams, they got heavy laser mark 1s. We should be more or less safe here, but we're going to pummel them anyway. Thankfully for us, we do have the power of cloaking, so we can dodge their early attacks. I'm not sure what kind of drone we feel like using, or if we even feel like spending a drone. But the thing is, I should actually probably get something to use my money for if I'm not going to spend it on drones. They did some damage to their weaponry, and they can no longer hurt us. We can sit here and tank this out all day. We're going to hit them in the helm so they cannot run. And we hit their pilot as well. And they offer us a better bribe. Three fuels, seven missiles, and 21 scrap. It's marginally better. The missiles will be good, but we don't have any missile weapons apart from our bomb. We have 24 missiles, which is more than enough for a small bomb. So we're going to reject that offer and continue our assault. Nice try, guys. 
Now, I'm not sure where they are, but it looks like they're repairing their weapons. So we're going to hit them with a burst laser in the weapons. Uh, two hits, not bad. If they are actually Zoltan, they'll die pretty quick. But I have a feeling, since this is a pirate ship, they are not entirely Zoltan. And one more salvo in the weapons room. Hopefully whoever's in there is dying. I don't see anyone running to the medbay, though, so they're probably okay. And one final burst should kill them. Hit them in the helm, and down they go. Nice try, pirates. What do you have for us now? This pirate explodes, leaving behind 46 scrap, which I must say is definitely better than their other offers. The missiles would probably be worth more if I could use them, but whatever. We go to examine the ship we saved, and find that the ship was a rebel scout. It's too damaged to put up much of a fight, so we can destroy the ship and salvage it, or use the leverage we gained by saving their lives to convince them to delay the fleet. Well, I want more money. Let's just destroy the ship and salvage it. We get 21 more scrap, 3 more fuel, and an extra drone part. Okay, I'll take it. Reasonable reward. It's not like being able to go an extra jump would help us at this point anyway, because we wouldn't be able to make it back to the exit. We have 108 scrap, though, which, might be able to, which we might be able to use to our advantage. I like having these advantages turned on, but we can't get that yet. Let's buy another bar of weapons so we can turn on our small bomb if we want to, and jump to the exit. Here we are. We've arrived at the long-range beacon. When the F-Java's charged, we'll be able to jump forwards. And while we're there, we find a small NG research vessel trying to fend off another Mantis ship. We move in to engage, but after a quick scan of us, the Mantis retreat. The NG, blah, blah, blah. The NG offer us a drone schematic as thanks. Namely, an anti-ship beam drone Mark 1. We got another one of those? And another 28 scrap. Our hull must be getting pretty full. We got a lot of stuff in here. Uh, really though, I would love, I would absolutely love a drone recovery arm. But I don't know if we're going to get one. Let us jump onwards. We have a civilian sector or a rock sector available to us. Civilian sector, not particularly interesting place. Let's go to the rock controlled sector. Da -na -na -na. What's over here? in this part of the galaxy. The Rog people are a powerful and proud race. It's not unheard of to have a peaceful journey through their lands, but we shouldn't count on it. Alright then, I can, can I can handle that. We are going to power up our drone control though, so we can activate two drones simultaneously if we want to spend the power on it. And let's keep jumping. There's our quest beacon right over there. Let's head to the store and sell off those weapons. That seems like a good idea to me. We cross paths with a rock ship returning from a rare diplomatic mission. Surprisingly enough, the captain responds to us and agrees to a trade. They have an anti-ship drone Mark II, which could be pretty cool, but I don't know if it's that much better than a Mark I, really. Hmm. I guess it's better in that it, it's effectively two of them, but only costs you one drone part. I don't know. For now, we're going to sell this beam drone, because we don't need that. We'll sell this fire beam, because we don't need that to have anything else interesting. No, just people. Some hull, but I don't want to buy that in case they give it to us at the secret base. We're also going to sell our anti-personnel drone. Now we'll hold on to him for now. Probably worthwhile. And let's jump. Oh, there's just just beacon over here too. Let's go here, there, and there on the way back. That's probably a pretty good use of our space. Is there anything here? We find a civilian ship jumping over as soon as we arrive. We're prepared to fight, but they inform us that they're out of FTL fuel and can't jump. Well, let's give them three fuel and see what happens. We give them the fuel, and they give us some sector scans. Now, this is the very beginning of the sector, so it might be worthwhile. Our map is updated. Oh, good thing I didn't try and jump there. There's a sun there, that's not fun. Let's jump over to this beacon, where we will have to fight someone, and then see what's at that quest beacon. Sounds like a plan to me. I'm holding onto this money in case the quest beacon happens to also have a store involved. A rock ship flies past our windows, and we recognize outcast decorations on the hull. These are pirates. They also are pilots with pirates with missiles. That might even be a breach, mi breach missile. I don't recognize all of the missile designs yet. We can tank out their lasers, no problem, but the missile's going to be a problem, so that's what we're going to dodge with our cloak. Until then, we're just going to hang out over here. Actually, we might even be able to blast them out with our lasers. Yeah, we knocked out the missile. No problems there. We can basically just sit here. Again, I'm going to try and save the drone parts in case I unless I need them, because it doesn't do us any good to waste our money when we don't need to. Rather, I'd waste our drone parts and we don't need to. Let's hit them in the weapons still. There's someone in there repairing. And not for long, if I can help it. They should be running for the medbay soon. Next salvo is going to hit them in the helm to make sure they can't avoid our hits. Wow. Apparently we set their weapons on fire, which can't be fun. 
next hit is going to go into the med bay to prevent anyone from healing, and then we're going to keep pummeling them. Poor guys, they never stood a chance. Alright, med bay is now smashed. They're coming in there to fix that pronto, so we're going to hit them again with the burst laser. Go, go, go! Pow, pow, pow. Someone in there is unhappy. Someone else is coming in to try and fix it, and unfortunately for them, this uh, shot is going to kill them, because they have no chance of dodging. So down they go. Nice try, guys. The rocks go down. The ship explodes, even behind a missile, a drone part, and 40 scrap. Alright, let's see what's at this quest beacon and see if it is worth holding on to that money for. By following the directions given to us, we find a well-disguised outpost. We're welcomed by a, a friendly face who offers to assist you in your quest by joining our crew. That was terrible reading, I'm sorry. We gather three fuel, a missile, and 31 scrap, and a Zoltan! Excellent! I will absolutely take a Zoltan. We're actually going to send him somewhere interesting. I don't know where it's going to be yet, but it's going to be interesting, I'm sure. He can hang out in the shields, I guess. When you have two Zoltan, if you can get them in the shields, you can actually make it impossible to ion out all of your shields, which is pretty cool. But for the time being, I think I'm just going to stand him in there so we get that power bar back. Activate our small bomb at all times now, was why no reason not to. And what else can we upgrade? Is there any is there a store nearby? There's one over there. Maybe we'll hold on to our money and see if there's a drone recovery icon over in that store. We're gonna get more money by the time we get over there too. I suppose we might as well upgrade something. But what do we upgrade? I don't even know. Let's upgrade radar so we can see what's going on. Let's upgrade piloting, because I like having upgraded piloting. <laughs> like honestly, I'm just picking things I like at this point. Um, I'll hold on to the rest of my money for now. I could, I, I could do... Uh, I don't know. I could do cloaking again. Cloaking's good. Uh, sure, cloaking. And I'll put a power bar in there, and let's jump out of here. I'm out of here! Is there anything over here of value? We find a small station fitted with hundreds of repair drones. We receive an automated message saying that while they don't know who we are, they don't care, and will happily repair us regardless. Five repair is exactly what we need to be full, I believe, so let's take it. Ten scrap, reasonable price. No refunds required, my friend. We're going to jump over to that store in a minute. If we can make that jump, we're going to head over to this top corner first. What do we find here? A motley collection of rock ships are stationed around this beacon. They look to have resorted to a pirate's life, so we take defensive maneuvers. They have uh, basic laser, burst laser mark one, mini beam, and a bomb of some kind, so the weapons don't look too threatening. Start ion blasting out their shields, and we should be able to pummel them pretty quick. I'd love to use my drones, but I just don't want to run out of drone parts. I'll save the drones for when we need them. Now we can tank out all this damage. There comes a small bomb, I think. We're going to cloak out, actually, before it launches. So it misses! And one more hit. Oh, one more hit, actually. I don't want to waste the small bombs either, but that's kind of silly. We're going to small bomb them in the helm, we're going to burst laser them in the weapons. We missed a whole bunch of times, but one of them did hit, so it's not a complete waste. Alright, turn off the small bomb, auto-fire, we don't need to be wasting those. And we're going to hit them in the weapons again, hopefully knock them out. There we go, you poor suckers. That room's heavily on fire. You are made of rock, so that should be a real problem. I don't know why you ran away, but apparently you felt it was more important to try and go over here and fix this. A little bit. Oh no, you've actually just abandoned that room completely. You've gone over to man engines for some reason. Alright then, that's kind of weird. We're going to hit you in the helm now. Smack, smack, smack. And the helm is completely broken. We'll hit them in the engines to make sure they can't repair the helm and immediately jump away. And these poor suckers have no idea what's happening to them. Let's hit them in the shields too. Just actually hit them in the oxygen. That, that'll be unfun. Down go door control? That'll be better with the fire. I should have done that, actually. <laughs> that would have been a mean thing to do. But now we can kill them in the next salvo, as long as they don't resist the damage. They might be able to dodge, now they have our repairs in there, but down they go. No luck for them, unfortunately. The ship explodes, leaving behind a fuel, a drone part, and 42 scrap. Alright. Alright, indeed. Let's jump over to this spot, and then we can jump to our store, hopefully, next. If we have to, we can jump into that danger beacon, but we hopefully won't need to. We encounter a small craft with minimal propulsion. Its rock crew member explains that the rock homeworld is run on lies and propaganda to keep the population in check, and they want no part of it. Well, we could tell them their gods sent me to join us, we could promise to share with them the truths they've been denied, or we could just show them our data suite. Let's do that. 
The rock captain is impressed by the data we've collected, and agrees to stay with us until they find their footing in the galaxy. Unfortunately, GM foe, I'm not- you see why hang a GM foe? You guys look like you're, uh, good buddies here. I'm not interested in a rock crew at this point. Our humans are all occupied, they're all highly skilled, and our NG are pretty fantastic too. I guess I could get rid of one NG and having... No, that'd probably be a good idea. We're gonna dump CY Hang for GM Fo. Because that way we'll have a little bit more strength against borders and fires. And CY Hang isn't a very good repairman anyway. So we'll dump CY Hang for GM Fo. Hopefully we don't regret that later on. But I doubt we will. Alright, Rockman, you can be on the team. Now, where are we gonna go? We're gonna go to the store, of course. Jump onwards. Is there anything good to be had at the store? We receive a hail on Federation frequencies. Your Federation? We... we weren't sure we'd ever see a friendly face again. There's little business here. Perhaps you'd like to trade. Do you have anything good to trade? No, you don't. Why does no one have anything good to trade? You have hull repair drones. Hull repair drones are pretty awesome. Except for the fact that we need our drone parts, so we can't afford to spam them. I don't really have anything I want to sell, either. I'll buy some fuel from you, I guess, but that's disappointing. Defense drones! I need a defense drone, too, come to think of it. How We have two more beacons before we run out of space. I'm actually going to wait a little bit longer before I buy one. One, two... We might not actually have three jumps to get out. Let's jump over here, just to be safe. We need a defense drone for the final area, though. A rock ship flies past our windows, and we recognize outcast decorations. These are also pirates. They have a big missile launcher. And a little laser. Well, we should be able to handle these guys pretty easily. We should be able to, rather. <sighs> it hurts me having all these drones and not being able to spend them, but I don't want to waste them. Alright, we're gonna dodge that. I hope you didn't want to hit us with that, guys. We're cloaked out. Hit them in the weapons. Missed a whole bunch of times. Small bomb them in the helm. Bam! Now they're not gonna be dodging anymore. Should have done that first, come to think of it, but whatever. Sometimes mistakes are made. Hit them in the weapons again. Now their weapons are destroyed, so we can hit something else. Let's hit them in the oxygen room, because that'll make them be unhappy quickly. Pow! Excellent, and the oxygen is broken. They've abandoned other repairs to go fix that. Let's hit them in the med bay next. They are probably going to start dodging again. Yes, they repaired their helm, so they're now dodging again. But I've damaged the med bay, so there's no one on the helm, so they shouldn't be able to dodge anymore until someone gets back in the room. If we're lucky, yes, we managed to destroy it before they get back in. Nice try. Now we'll burst laser them in the oxygen again, and that should kill them. Unless they manage to resist the damage, which happens fairly often. Nope, unlucky them, they got killed. Nice try, guys. The ship explodes, giving us a missile, a drone part, and another 45 scrap. We got lots of money. Oodles and oodles of cash here. Loads of money. As they would say. Now, I guess we could upgrade our doors again. That would be good against borders. For the meantime, though, let's just jump. Do we have enough time? Yeah, we got plenty of time for an extra jump. Plenty of time. Let's jump over to this empty beacon. Hopefully it's got something in it. It's not just empty space. It's empty space. We arrive and detect signs of a battle. A few ships are taking passes at each other near a small space station. We don't know what they're doing, whether it's a territory issue, a contest, or a rite of passage, but we decide it's probably best to stay out of it. Alright. Well, let's at least jump to the exit, then. Better than a bad event. What do we have here? We've arrived at a long-range beacon. We find a rebel automated scout floating here, however. Despite its pristine condition, it appears to be deactivated. We take that as a cue to attempt to download the ship's data stores. We accidentally reactivate its AI. Its weapons and shields immediately go back online, and we prepare for a fight. They got lots of weapons and drones and shooty weapons. <laughs> yes, that is definitely not what I meant to say. But they have a heavy laser mark two, burst laser, or er, dual laser, and heavy laser mark one, in addition to some kind of bomb and some drones. So they're very heavily equipped, which means they're likely not going to have a billion dodge. Although they just dodged our first attack, so that goes to show what I know. And if we can hit them without losing all of our shields, we're probably not going to dodge. Ion bombs. Okay, they ioned our oxygen. That's okay. I can handle that. Hit him in the weapons, please. Ah, we hit one attack. Bomb in the helm. Lovely. We are actually going to... No, we're not going to cloak. We're okay for now. They can't dodge us anymore, though, so we should be able to pound their weapons into submission. Although we left three damage worth of weapons still active, which is less than ideal. Let's small bomb out their drone bay just for fun. 
hit them again, and we basically have them defeated now. Not much they can do at this stage. If we can get more drone parts, I'll start using them again. I don't want to run out in the last area, but I think we should be okay. I think we should be okay. We'll be done for this area, obviously. This is our final beacon. And down they go! Nice try there, robots. Nice try. The ship explodes, leaving behind a fuel, two missiles, and 50 scrap. Fantasmic. Alright, let's jump on. We have a Zoltan-controlled sector or an uncharted nebula to go to. Well, the Zoltan aren't going to be a problem with this ion blast, so why not head over there? Zoltan-controlled sector it is. And we have a Zoltan anyway, so Zoltans, NGs, humans, rockmen, we got a pretty decent selection of choices for blue events. We've entered Zoltan territory and discovered that this species, while not always renowned for giving anything for nothing, will always assure a fair hearing. Unless you happen to have some problem with weapon licenses, or you wind up in a space you're not supposed to be, in which case they just immediately attack you. But whatever! That's cool. That's cool. We have 185 scrap. Let's try and spend this one before our episode ends, instead of after the episode ends. And we could put it right into there. That'd be pretty good, actually. Power up those shields level 4, guys. Power out of the medbay, into the shields. BAM! That's pretty powerful. Alright. Well, we're pretty well set up for the next area. We don't have any power to put into our drones at the moment, but we could always get some. Now, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, you should remember to like the episode, because this has been Vanguard of Valor playing FTL on board the VSS Polaroid, our NG Cruiser Type A. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.